Coming off a three-game losing skid, the Rebels are faced with their final three games of the season. All are must-wins if they stand any chance of making it to postseason play. First up, LSU, a team who handed the Rebels a loss in their SEC opener. This night, the Rebels had revenge on their minds. Underway. Here's the tip. Tony Green will throw it up. LSU and Ole Miss. There it is. Controlled by Terrence Henry into the back door to Jarvis Summers. So the Rebels have it first. The Rebels came out on fire. One-handed pass to Henry. He's going to shoot a long-range three. Well, there's a third of the nine points as he drains an NBA three. Holloway steals the rebound away. Now to Williams shoots a three. Good. Henry penetrates, pulls up 16-foot jumper. Got some air under it. Nice shot. He's four from a thousand for his career. Nick Williams hits a jumper, and the Rebels are on the move. Didn't have real good spacing. Pass inside to Hamilton, deflected by Buckner, picked up by Kendrick. Rebels with a steal. Down the floor to Williams, three from the left wing. Good! Rattled in by Nick Williams. Williams with ten points. He's in double digits now. It's man to man. Let's go stir at Hamilton. He ain't going to fight through him. Watch. The race to his right hand. We got Ray, Murph, T. You can get your second. Here, okay? JK, you're going towards Murphy's side, towards their bench, okay? Reggie goes first, break it off, break it off to the wing. Murphy, act like there. you're going and then stop until you got to be quick now. Yeah. you got to be foul line extended. So A jump shot by Henry would put the Rebels up 22 to 9 halfway through the first half. But the Tigers began to fight back. Seven with the ball. Henry, right elbow jumper, short, but he got fouled on the shot. That would set up a monumental moment in Terrence Henry's career. Free throw here will give Terrence Henry a thousand career points to go along with a hundred block shots. Will be only second Rebel ever to do that in a career. Here we go. Free throw on his way. Got it. Congratulations to Terrence Henry. Driving as Henry's he's cut off there. Turns. Shot from the baseline, good from eight. O'Brien tried to block it, just missed it. Terrence Henry now 11 points. As the first half came to a close, the Rebels would find themselves up by 10 at the half. T, and I know, listen, everybody in the country is going to play you your left hand, but I'm telling you, if you'll wipe it through, you can still get there. You can still get there, all right? If you can go one dribble to the right to a pull-up, that's a good shot. But where you get in trouble is when you start going right to those spins, that's where you get in trouble. So if you got a right to a pull-up, so be it. If not, stay left, stay left. Guys, Nick hadn't missed a shot, man. Let's get him shots. Screen for him. Get free. You got your shoulders square on all of them. You're attacking and you're scoring over the top of smaller guards. That's what we got to do. The second half began with buckets by Henry and Williams. And the Rebels never looked back. Halftime, we always talked about how we always come out flat second half. And, you know, we just got together and, and, and said that we were, we were going to come out the first five minutes and, you know, come out with the same intensity we did in the first half, and we did that, and we put them away. Right side to Williams, shoots a three over it. Good! Nick Williams is feeling it offensively. Now Warren's going to switch back with Hickey off the screen. Summers gets in the lane, puts it up on the glass, and scores over Malcolm White. Henry tries to drive, gets in the lane, and banks it in. He split Bass and Hamilton. What a move by T. Henry. He, he did what he had to do, and that would lead his team. And it's the same year, so he got to take control and be the leader. And he led it to a victory. You got to put that work in. And, like, he was dedicated to what he was doing. And, like, he wasn't, he wasn't going to be stopped. Now to Jalon Kendrick. Drives the lane right down the middle. Finger roll in a basket for Jalon Kendrick. A long three left wing missed by Stringer. Kendrick saves it down the floor to Murphy Holloway. He's got the one-handed stuff. What a great play by Jalon Kendrick to see his teammate tip it down the floor. That might be our play of the game. Exclamation point. This night belonged to the Rebels. Final score, 
Rebels, 72. Tigers, 48. The season Ole Miss basketball is brought to you in part by Coke Zero. Enjoy a refreshing jump shot to the taste buds. An icy cold Coke Zero by FedEx. FedEx does more than shipping. FedEx, solutions that matter. And by ParentGuideToCollege.com, the knowledge to get your kids to college. To be more environmentally aware, we are now printing on the backsides of used paper. And we switched to FedEx, because a lot of their packaging contains recycled materials. Tell them what else FedEx does. Well, we're now using more electric trucks and lower emission planes. We even offer a reusable envelope. Now, can't we at least print on the backsides of used paper? What's the executive compensation list? Sustainable Solutions. FedEx. Solutions that matter. Has planning your kid's college got you feeling like a deer in headlights? Does the cost of tuition feel like the weight of the world? Is the prospect of researching schools, majors, and careers starting to be as pleasant as pulling teeth? Well, find fast relief at ParentGuideToCollege.com. ParentGuideToCollege.com. It's the knowledge to get your kids to college. Check it out and get that monkey. You know, the pesky monkey of college planning off your back. It is a place which, which exerts an extraordinary pull on all who have walked its hallowed ground. A major university with the familiar intimacy of family. Contests waged and triumphs savored. With our largest freshman class, Soaring Honors College, national reputation for academics and research. Today, for all who have ever called this magical place home, you never leave Ole Miss. As the Rebels began training during the offseason, one member of the team was noticeably absent. Stedman Short, the senior from Simpsonville, South Carolina, was battling back from a serious injury. Um, I broke my, I fractured my leg at the, right at the beginning of the season, so I was out for three months. I came back, but uh, I think I kind of came back too early, and uh, I started playing a little bit. And I had another recent injury, uh, probably in January. So I think it was hard. It was hard on me because it was like I was away from my team and I felt like I needed to be there, you know, working out and, and getting better, you know. And I felt like I was, you know, really getting behind, you know what I'm saying, because I wasn't, I wasn't with them practicing. I mean, I just look at it as a minor setback, you know. Um, I just got to keep working hard um, in the off season to get my body back right so I can keep on playing. My mom was always there, she took care of me. I always had my little brother, he always looked up to me, so we, it just always was my motivation, my family. I grew up, I grew up in, well I was born in Greenville, but I grew up in Centerville, South Carolina. And you know, my mom was a single parent, so I mean, she took care of me and my brother by herself. Man, my mom, I love her to death, you know? I mean, we have, we have a, a lot of hard times, we collide sometimes, but at the end of the day, I, I will always love her, you know? And she always take care of me no matter what. No matter what it is, she'll provide anything. I mean, she'll give, she'll give her last leg, her last kidney, her last heart if, if it was for me or any of my brother. I mean, if I do come successful, I wanna be able to take care of her so she won't have to, you know, worry about anything else no more. I mean, it's just it's just the rush, the excitement. Like uh, going back to the Kentucky game last year. I mean, it's sold out crowd. Everybody's wearing red. Everybody's cheering you on. Every play is a ma major moment. So I mean, you really get caught up into it, and it just makes you go even harder. Ball with the ball with six seconds. Left wing bombs a long three. Go! He rolls in a three from downtown Oxford. Two point nine to play. Ole 
lost by two, 71-69. I probably had to say the Kentucky moment, like, because everybody was into it after the game. Like, they just, them five to ten minutes that, at that moment, you know, it was just very special, man. Everybody was together. I mean, you, you can never get these games back, so each game is special, you know. And uh, so you, you're you going to miss the moments, them, them, them special moments, because you don't get many of them in your life. So, I mean, once you get one in the moments, you, you got to really cherish it because you never know when it'll come again. With only two games remaining in the regular season, the Rebels are looking for a precious road win as they face off against the Arkansas Razorbacks. I'm a boss. 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 Stay, stay home. When we say stay home, remember we're switching everything. So all of a sudden we switch a handoff. Reggie's got Wade. When we say stay home, let's say Reggie has Wade right here. When we say stay home, if the drive is this way, you can be helped. But if he's here, then we stay home. So all will be on the same page. Always, if you're weak side, you're weak side. Everybody got that now. The Rebels were on a mission. A victory this night was going to be key. Well, we knew we had a good track record going into Bud Walton Arena. We we haven't lost there since I've been here, and uh, and we had the same keys to the game as last time. We were gonna the only way we we're gonna win if we were gonna value the ball and, and you know attack the glass and, and make open shots. He told his guys, you know, as he told us before the game, we've won our last three games here. None of you in this room has ever lost to this building. We need to make it four for four. That would be rare for a senior class on the road to go four. The Razorbacks struck first, but the Rebels quickly answered. Very good defensive team is Arkansas, but a nice baseline floater for Murphy Holloway, who's on the board. Summers kick out to Terrence Henry, Oh, miss for three. Henry, he's hit one, can he hit two? He can. Six points for Terrence Henry. The Razorbacks fought back taking a nine-point lead at the half. After the break, the Rebels came out on fire. Buckets by Buckner, Summers, and Williams would cut the lead to three. Nick Williams, baseline, six-nothing run to start the half for Ole Miss. The second half was a game of runs, with Arkansas pulling ahead by as much as 15 and the Rebels catching back up. With only 13 seconds remaining, the Rebels found themselves up by one. So Young at the line for two, a 74% free throw shooter, four of five from the line tonight, with a chance to put the Razorbacks ahead. If I'm Ole Miss, I'm gonna push the basketball up the floor while Arkansas is transitioning from the free throw to defense. What? Pressure, says B.J. Young. Ole Miss has timeouts. They don't use them. Ten seconds to go. Terrence Henry. Henry inside. Got it. And a foul. A huge basket by the Ole Miss senior. They were kind of double teaming Jarvis. So, uh, you know, I was the other wing perimeter play in, so I had to get open. Ricky Scott, he kind of gave me an angle when he, when he was defending me. So I just, you know, Got the ball and went coast to coast and didn't want to stop till I got to the rim. Like, it was real special. Like everybody was so crunk and we were so amped. Like we, we knew we had it in us. And like when T Henry made that play, we just we were just all just excited. Like we know we're gonna win this game. Tough to create space, but he gets it and he misses. And Ole Miss comes into Fayetteville, overcomes a 15-point deficit, and will walk out of here. In dramatic fashion, the Rebels pull off the victory on the road, 77 to 75.
amazing story of whether bovine heart tissue can make it from Australia to a U.S. lab to a patient in time for surgery it may seem like a trumped-up Hollywood premise. But if you take away the dramatic score, take away the dizzying 360-degree camera move, and take away the over-the-top stunt, you're still left with a pretty remarkable tale. Okay, maybe keep the indulgent supermodel cameo. Thank you. Innovative medical solutions. FedEx. Solutions that matter. Has planning your kid's college got you feeling like a deer in headlights? Does the cost of tuition feel like the weight of the world? Is the prospect of researching schools, majors, and careers starting to be as pleasant as pulling teeth? Well, find fast relief at parentguidetocollege.com. Parentguidetocollege.com. It's the knowledge to get your kids to college. Check it out and get that monkey. You know, the pesky monkey of college planning off your back. It is a place which, which exerts an extraordinary pull on all who have walked its hallowed ground. A major university with the familiar intimacy of family. Contests waged and triumphs sacred. With our largest freshman class, Soaring Honors College, national reputation for academics and research. Today, for all who have ever called this magical place home, you never leave Ole Miss. With the season on the line and postseason hopes looming, the Rebels have only one opponent remaining in the regular season, the Alabama Crimson Tide. I'm going to make up my bed because I mess it back up every night, so ain't no need to make it up. Well, today is our last game. Last home game was the last regular season game. Senior day, you know. This is my last Senior game day. here at the Tad Pack. Got some family and friends in town. And uh, we're looking for, looking for a big game, you know, from everybody. Looking to get this win and get back on track, you know. Like get ready for the SEC tournament next weekend? Yep, try to, you know, get a, have a little winning streak going to the SEC tournament. I think I'll get this win, man, on our last home game. For the city of T. Henry, we been doing big. Man, living with T. Henry, man, this my guy, man. We like brother. He look out for the kid, you know. He's just fun, you know, your fun room, man. He look out, he look out for me like a brother, you know. He really can't see, but you know, I got two for days stacked up. Air Force One, Jordan's all up, you know. You know how I do it, man. Air Max, you ain't see them, them exclusive. I'm gonna miss everything about, you know, T. Henry, man. He was funny, man. His character, man. You know, me and T. Henry was like this, man. Nah, I'm just talking. Let me get your crank on. Time to go get this W. It's game time. Nothing to say. You know what time it is. We finna have the crowd rocking. We finna have the crowd rocking tonight. T. T Henry, 4 3. And when he live it up, I'ma salute to the crowd and let them know I love him. See you there. But this the last one, though. What are you gonna miss about this guy right next to you? Man, how crazy he is. He can make anybody laugh. <laughs> He ain't even got to say no word. <laughs> he, facial expression. That's real. Give us one of your facial expressions. I can't just <laughs> give you a facial expression. It's got to be in the moment. You feel me? I got it. No loyalty, man. No, bro. I've been loyal to this dude. Oh, oh, pick me. He's dead. Oh, let me. Big stand. Big stand. You got that far, my dog. Gatto! Be my other senior you got, man. Get him on camera, man. We finna do the dance. The dog on the time. <laughs> yeah, we in here, here, man. Oh my god, hey, dude. Hey. Hey. It's, a, uh, it's a Mac Daddy. No way. Mac yeah. Daddy. <laughs> Mac Daddy Mo. Mo. Oh. 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 Oh.
that's I don't a lie, mean to get him man. in trouble, but this is my a, guy, man. No, that's a lie. Play, play. No, I ain't no player. You see swag, you see how he He got swag. We show up, we show up. Sweatpants, he swagged up. Look at him, he swagged up. Yeah, I'm the tour guy. I'm just, I'm just showing how we get down on game day. Y'all get comments on me. He getting his back ready. What it is, baby. Trying to, man, trying to get my back right. Listening to the iPad, everybody ain't got the iPad 264 kids. Let me get the help. Protege right here, I'm working with him. Yeah, I'm trying you know. to get him good, but he sucked. Yeah, I'm trying to get career low on uh, turnovers. 19. You know, career high. Hey, what's your career low on turnovers? Heck no, boy. You average 15 turnovers a game, man. For 30 shots? 20, 20 points for 30 shots. Is that 20 shots for 30 shots? Hey, 20 points for 30 shots? Really? Really? If I take 30 shots a game, I swear I score 100 points in the game. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah. What? 30 shots in the game? Even if they were all threes, that only be 90 points. The Rebels hit the hardwood, looking for their third straight win, as well as to avenge their double overtime loss to the Tide earlier this season. Buckner starts the Rebels off. Williams, he gets it lower to Buckner, spins toward the baseline, puts up a right-handed stick on the glass and banks it in, a little layup for Buckner. Now to Williams, left wing three is good for Nick Williams. Bama answers shot for shot, taking the lead. Mo into the corner to Buckner, now back out to White. White's going to shoot a three left wing. Good! But Darius White pops in a three, and it's 11 to 10, Bama by one. There's a drive down the lane, and it centers and goes for Summers. Just put it up high and then got it to work, his first bucket. Right corner, Nefio drives baseline. No look pass inside to Holloway for a layup. What a pass by Mo, and he knows it too. Shouting back down the floor, and the Rebels have their first lead, 14-13. Left side, Williams pulls up, 16-foot jumper, good. Press attack, we're on two down there, baseline. Go, man. You know what's about to happen, right? They got four guys down here, it's that slice. Under, over, inside, inside, okay? Yeah. If it's a stack, remember they're about to screen in. And if it's four guys on the top, they're trying to close the gate. Don't relax, don't relax, street fight, Still street down fight. On the glass. Henry turns, spins in the lane, shoots and scores, and he's fouled. That's the first bucket of the game for the Rebel leading scorer. Hangs him a three, blocked by the senior. Terrence Henry comes out of nowhere, rejects it into the Alabama. Yeah, we were in zone, and, and you know, we they kind of overloaded us on the left side. So uh, I, it was me had to make the next rotation, in, and Hankerson, he was wide open for a three, and, and he's, the, he's the best shooter on their team, arguably. So I just, uh, you know, gave all my effort on that play and, and went out and made the block. Buckets by Henry and White push the Rebel lead out to 11 as the first half comes to a close. The Rebels came out with a vengeance in the second half, never letting go of the lead. Bucket after bucket, the Rebels would answer anything the Tide threw at them, which in turn would keep the Rebels' postseason hopes alive. Final score, 60 to 51. Has planning your kid's college got you feeling like a deer in headlights? Does the cost of tuition feel like the weight of the world? Is the prospect of researching schools, majors, and careers starting to be as pleasant as pulling teeth? Well, find fast relief at ParentGuideToCollege.com. ParentGuideToCollege.com. It's the knowledge to get your kids to college. Check it out and get that monkey, you know, the pesky monkey of college planning, off your back.
Hey, what's up, guys? This is not how witness protection works. Well, we set you up at that little hardware store. We didn't intend for your face to be everywhere. The FedEx office makes it so easy. Not only do they ship stuff, they print flyers, brochures, everything I need to get my name out there. That's the problem. Now we need to give you a third identity. You're Paul Matheson, and you're going to run your business into the ground. Eric Gustafson would never do that. There is no Eric Gustafson. Hey, that's Eric Gustafson! There is no Eric Gustafson. Small Business Solutions. FedEx. Solutions that matter. It is a place which, which exerts an extraordinary pull on all who have walked its hallowed ground. A major university with the familiar intimacy of family. Contests waged and triumphs savored. With our largest freshman class, Soaring Honors College, national reputation for academics and research. Today, for all who have ever called this magical place home, you never leave Ole Miss. Those three games were three very winnable games. And you know, it was just all about us coming out to play and, and that's what we did. Uh, it felt great, you know, uh, <clears throat> I always wanted to go out as a winner, and you know, I won my last game in the tag pass. So, you know, that's all that matters. We got to eight and eight and finished up the season strong. We played Auburn on Thursday, and uh, you know, our mindset. We got, like Snoop said uh, to the media uh, after the game, we got a winning mentality right now. You know, we feel like uh, we feel like we can win. We can we can go in and, and get a couple games, two or three, maybe four games in the tournament. You know, and and see where that puts us. We ready, we're going to be ready to play. We're going to be ready to, you know, win whoever we, whoever they put in front of us. You know, uh, we're playing great defense. We're playing, playing great team ball right now. And, you know, we just want to win. And we're going we're gonna to do whatever it takes to win. You can expect, you can expect great effort from me, you know, uh, doing whatever it takes to win. If that's going 30, it's going three, having to sit out the whole game, whatever it takes to win. Uh, it was very important to me to go out as a winner, you know, uh, that's all that matters when, when when somebody looks back at your career and say, "Hey, did, what's his win or loss record?" That's always what coach says. You know, uh, you not that's 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 what you uh, that's what people look at you by, not what this or that what you done. It's it's just about you know how did you go out? And I wanted to go out as a winner, and that's what I did. It's just plain and simple. Get to the tournament. You know, everybody has all these other goals, but we we haven't seen the tournament in the wild here Ole Miss, and, and, and that's how I go, and, and it's still there.